Okay, we crawled in the back. Coming up on the first bit of clouds that you guys can see. SB913, continue the right turn, heading 290. You can SB probably see them, but if not, we'll film them here for a second. The first bit of clouds. So we knew this was coming. Not only from pre-flight, but when you look at the Avidine 540, you can see those light blue, those are nice VFR weather. The green is marginal, and then it goes back to the light blue. And then we got the radar on, so you can see some of that weather over eastern Tennessee. We ain't going that way. So, we knew there'd be a cloud bank coming up ahead. That's what that is there. Technology is pretty sweet. So I think we told this story before, but for those that haven't heard it, Jamie originally gave me a gift card. How, how 310 Pilot started. Jamie gave me a gift card to buy these sun, rods and sun visors because she hated the ones that fell down all the time. I hated them. When I first looked, I didn't see one uh, on the site I was looking at for the 310Q. It turns out they, they do have them. And if you guys have a 310Q and you're trying to get them done, let me know and I'll, I'll tell you how to do that. But so. I instead bought the original GoPro, just bought this one here, mounted it up here in this exact same spot, it's never moved, I just looked up there and thought, oh, that looks good, that stuck it up there, and that's what started 310 Pilot, it's been doing pretty well, thanks to you guys, Warrior calling National Approach, which numbers and say request, this isn't good guys, this is not good, she's, just put blankets over her head. She's laying down. I think we're losing her. We only got an hour and 20 minutes left. I don't know what she's doing. To her, I think an hour and 20 minutes sounds like a long time. To me, an hour and 20 minutes, I feel like, oh darn it, the flight's almost over. Contact Memphis Center, 132.9er, good day. 132.9er, we'll put with you today. And why would both vacuum pumps go in, um... Yeah, they're gone. So I was looking out the window just now, and I noticed that my the ice boots have been Southwest inflated. 818, you can increase not to exceed 280 knots now, thank you. Okay, increase not to exceed 280 knots with uh, 818. So I looked and I saw that inflate light was on. So I hit deflate and I could see that they're not coming down. I look up and both left and right vacuum pumps have failed. What are the chances that both vacuum pumps and my attitude indicator is my only vacuum instrument left? It's Dunsky's. If you look over here, vacuum, we checked all that out before we left. This indicates both the left and the right have both failed, which is really strange. So right now, my old school attitude indicator has failed. It can't keep it can't keep us up anymore. Now luckily we've got plenty of onboard 
attitude indicator, so we're not struggling with that. But gonna have to get gonna have to get that figured out for sure. That is strange. Never heard of a dual vacuum pump failure in a 310. 968 Bravo Sierra, uh, 284 descending 240. Now we're 968 Bravo Sierra, Atlanta Center, cross 3T at 8000, Atlanta altimeter 3000. 0 3T at 8000, 8 Bravo Sierra. Atlanta Broad Cap 926, 3700, 5000, Derek Lugger. Did you miss me? Was your nap tiresome? Did that make you tip more tired? Yeah. Now you're yawning. I was up here having to do all sorts of stuff. I'm having to fly the plane and talk on the radio. I got jolted awake back there. It was, that was like, turbulence. I asked for a 10 degree Bob deviation around, around that. that freaking anvil. Did you see that thing? Yeah, it was pretty small. The top was. Yeah, the 575 I, contact that line. I approached. One, I asked two, to go around that zero. thing, so I wouldn't wake you up. Eight point zero. Have a great the day. The path was right five, through five, the center of it. Delta 1857, reduce speed now to 250. I got 10 right for that. Well, you for you. Earlier, You're welcome. Thank you. Something crazy happened. So you remember how this was used to be all... Hello? Yeah. You remember how this used to be the only thing that I had to keep me upright before I got this stuff? The attitude indicator? Yeah. Not the 1612 oh. cross chipper at 1, 3,000 at 1 altimeter at 3, it's triple failed. Zero. Three thousand at chipper, 3, triple Both zero vacuum delta. pumps have Twelve. failed. So you see the wings, the boots? The boots are blown up because it needs suction to suck them back in. I had a dual vacuum pump failure. I've never even heard of anybody having a dual vacuum pump failure before. The boots don't look blown up. They're not fully blown up. They're slightly, they're not pulled against the wing type. You can see the ribs in them. What? What does that mean? Well, we have a vacuum it means pump failure. we had a dual vacuum pump failure. There's one on each engine. They both failed. I've never seen anything like that. We checked it out before we flew didn't do anything. There was one on each engine. So, so if that's all we had, we'd be screwed. Line of center, I drive turn back we have back. plenty of other ways of... So you there. don't need the vacuum pumps or what? Like what, what? The only reason we still have the vacuum pumps is because of the de-ice boots. If I didn't have the ice boots, I'd already um, thrown them in the trash and never gotten them again. What, is, what does that have to do with your um, artificial horizon thing? Well, I kept that as a backup just because I had to keep the vacuum pumps anyway. But what? How do the? What do the vacuum pumps have to do with that piece of equipment? I it don't sucks. It. The, it sucks air back there, and it creates a vacuum, and then the gyros spin at like a couple thousand revolutions per minute, and that's what makes the artificial horizon work. Okay. American four six two direct line. vacuum pump failure. Did you tell when it happened? Or did you just try to look at your thing that was looking? I was just kind of looking around, and this in, the de-ice and flight light was on. I looked down, and I toggled the switch, and the switch was not. The switch was set in the neutral position. I looked out there at the wing, and I saw that the boots were half popped. 41, Roger Cross, Chipper at 1, 2, or 1, 3,000, and 1 altimeter at 3, triple zero. Triple zero to car on Chippa at one three thousand for American twenty eight forty one. Oh, things are mysteriously failing. It freaks me out. Well, that's just vacuum pumps are prone to failure. Uh, I guarantee those were probably five or ten years old. They were ready to be replaced. I'm just shocked that that happened at the exact same time. Contact line, approach, one, two, eight, it's crazy. Zero. That's good, Lola. I got about forty minutes on that. Like an hour and forty. Uh, no. I looked at that thing and it showed like we still had an hour and a half left and then about 15 minutes later I was asleep and 15 minutes later and then I was jolted violently awake. That's why I'm trying to deviate around these and for you. said I got 42 minutes left. Now 32. Woo -hoo. Traveling with guilty pleasure to get those um, Gossip magazines. The only time I ever get them, huh, babe? It's not, like, uh, it's not like you're just sitting around the house or anything. I only get them when we travel. Did you say so? Because it's my, that's my thing. 
I do when I travel. Don't even front. Yeah. You no, know it's true. Okay. Warming up. Warm it up, Chris. 57 degrees now. I love it's, it's so pretty here. here All the rivers, the hills. Center, one, two, eight point seven two. Twenty eight seven two seven two zero. Yeah, it is pretty. When I fell asleep, everything was flat. Woke up in the mountains. I woke up in Nashville. You still? Matter of fact, let's. I'll find out where we are. I don't need your help. Is this getting worse? What's happening? I think I'm doing the wrong thing. Hold on. No, that's not it. Turn in zero seven contact. Up the center on one two zero point eight. Did you mess with this? No, you're, you're just going back and forth between 20 and 40. You gotta... I know, but why is it moving the magenta line? I should... Because you're zooming in so much. If you zoom out, the magenta line doesn't look like it's moving as much. I'm Because I'm on a heading, so I'm not on the magenta line right now. Oh. I was trying to deviate around this thing. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, as you zoom in closer, it looks like I'm getting further. Oh, we're in Alabama, babe. Yeah, we are. We've been, we're way past. Okay, we're past Huntsville. We're past Alabama. Birmingham. Or we're being Birmingham. Yeah, we made good time. I can guess what the title of this one's going to be. Delta 1522 passing 11,000. Gulf Coast four. Swing. Part 1. Dual vacuum pump failure. Delta 1522. Yeah. Maybe. Dual vacuum pump failures are incredibly rare. I mean, they're just independent of each other. There's Maybe one over there. Maybe ours are special, and they're not independent of each other. That's not possible. They're on separate engines. Unless the valve, the T valve, just collapsed, or there's something blocking that. Even then, it's not supposed to happen. I test that when I shut down the engine sometimes. Approach November 1, uh, 771 Bravo, Charlie's just setting at uh, 5,500 for 5,000. Number 771 Bravo, Charlie's land approach, Columbus altimeter 299 or 5, effective visual approach in Auburn, about we have the weather and Odom. Do we, we have got it, yeah. We have the weather and Odom's at Auburn, November 1, Bravo, Charlie. Man, that weather and Odom thing, that is, uh, that's the new made up. Altitude 200 Great, to huh? go. Number one, Bravo Charlie, descend and maintain 3,000. One, Bravo Charlie, descending for 3,000. This aircraft makes an Andy occurring at Columbus. Altimeter 2996. All right, we're seven minutes away. I hope they have food at Auburn. I tried to feed you. I called this girl and she answered the phone and she was telling me all this stuff, you know. And then, when I was done talking to her, I said, go dogs. And then I heard her just laughing. Yeah. What girl? At, at the, the airport at when the I airport? called, yeah. No. It, did you ask, so you asked him about the car? Yeah, they don't do that. But she said Uber works like a charm here. They don't let the courtesy car out overnight. Oh. One Bravo Charlie, Auburn Altitude, Airport, 12 o'clock and 17 miles before the site. One Bravo Charlie's looking. One seven. That's oh, far. a little hazy, a little hazy. Yeah. Uh, Atlanta departure 600 Hotel Tango is with you, leaving 1,200 to 3,000. I'd say that, but you know. 600 Hotel Tango, Atlanta departure ID, climbing. You know who I'd sound like? To one zero thousand zero hotel thing. Sound like old dusted. Twist one Bravo Charlie has the airport in sight. Would like to cancel IFR. One Bravo Charlie, IFR cancellation received. Spot the VFR. There's multiple targets around the Auburn Airport at this time. Frequency change approved. Good day. One Bravo Charlie, squawk and VFR. Frequency change approved. We'll see ya. Number zero off uniform. Multiple targets. Yeah, they're all firing up. 
That's why I want to Warrior 2524, uniform crossing midfield at 3,200, Auburn. We're driving Skyhawk, Niners, you're in Niners, 6 Zulu, 5 South, 4,000, holding east of driving to Auburn. We're traffic, Baron 5, Zulu, Romeo 6, Romeo 36. Be departing VFR with a left uh, crosswind, uh, then downwind for 36. You can see that tower goes all the way up to 1,800 feet. Down. That's like a thousand, over a thousand feet tall. Auburn traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie. It is 11 miles to the north, be entering left downwind runway 36, Auburn. Altitude 200 to go. Auburn Travis, call keep us 6 off uniform, 6 miles to the south, 2,500 inbound ILS runway 36. Weird that the off. little one is flashing, but the big giant one doesn't have anything flashing. Auburn Travis, Skyhawk 961, Alpha uniform, 3 mile 45, runway 36, landing, Auburn. I don't see anybody. Auburn traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is turning left downwind 36, Auburn. All right, fuel's on the main, fuel pumps are on low, we got gas, undercarriage, right, mixers, and props, we've got a ways to go. Left base. We're downwind now, 36. Yeah, oh, somebody reported turning base. Right there. Well, that might be the, I can't Auburn tell if he's on yeah, final. 6 one Alpha Uniform, turning to final, Army 36, Auburn. Yeah, number one and number two. 9 six, one, Alpha Uniform, that's number okay, two. Okay, all right. Number one's on a short final. Oh. We figured it out. Lab's coming in. That is nine six one alpha uniform. Oh, they're all like alpha uniforms. It's all Auburn University. Oh, that's adorable. Auburn traffic, twin Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie's turn to left base, 36 over. Well, the gear came down. So now we have gas under the carriage, mixtures and props. I'm just flying this bomber pattern because a little student pilot A. Couple else. mansions out here. Yeah, got bugs, babe. We didn't have any bugs on the window until just now. Auburn traffic, twin Cessna seven seven one. Bravo, Charlie's turning final three six. Auburn. I slow it up a little bit more. Uh, Auburn traffic, Sky eight six zero Alpha uniform. We to five miles to the southwest, two thousand one hundred inbound VOR Alpha circle line three six. Man, I used to do all this stuff. All right, we're on glide path. Coming in with a second notch of flaps. Auburn traffic warrior 2524 uniform, five miles west. Still we're the descending to 1800 feet and uh, we'll be entering downwind to 36, Auburn. He's still on Auburn the runway. Traffic, Sky, 856, Alpha uniform, Alpha 2. Uh, Taxing Southwest um, ramp uh, via Alpha Auburn. Well, we definitely got 4,500 feet either way. Yeah, he's gone. He gone. Gears down. That's the hotel we were going to stay at. Uh, might as well. I've been kind of planting them lately. It's been driving me crazy. Oh, I miss Charlie too. 
pretty pretty wet here. It's 83 degrees still. Oh no. I thought it was going to be Where's cool. the next turn off? There's Alpha 1. Yeah, we'll just have to cross the runway. Auburn Traffic Sky 860 Alpha Uniform. Oh, I thought you turning left base to go that way. Auburn. No, oh, oh, it's fine. Okay. Got all kinds of stuff on both sides of the runway here. Auburn Traffic Sky 961 Alpha Uniform, Alpha 2, Texas 360 Alpha Auburn. Auburn Traffic Twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie is clear 36 Auburn. And they have a little temporary tower, but they bust, Auburn Traffic Warrior 254 Uniform games. 45 uh, yeah. Downwind 36 Auburn. Well, baby, we made it before sunset. Auburn Traffic Airport Vehicle I Charlie thought, 2 I looked at it and it said it was going to be like 66 here. To, I guess maybe that's later. Yeah, I don't know. It's nice. It's nice and warm. Yeah. We made it. Welcome to Auburn. Auburn, Alabama. Home of not the best Auburn team Auburn traffic code, Niner 61 Alpha Uniform, taking off runway 36, remaining left closed, short delay. Go dogs. <laughs>